A lot of people think, yeah, just because you're surrounded by water, you have plenty, but that's not necessarily the case. We don't always have access to that water. This drought, I would say, is a dire emergency. It's really serious. It's one of the most historic droughts we've seen since 76, 77. This town relies on approximately 420 privately owned wells for our different residents and customers and businesses. There is no municipal water system. There's no storage for the community beyond what individuals and individual residents um, have installed themselves. Most of these residents are currently have dry wells and they're having to purchase water. Here you go, the water delivery guy. We see these trucks rolling through town every day, multiple times a day. Once they turn off the tap, where do we go for water? That's the big problem at the moment. Where do we go that's affordable and accessible? This residence right here on the corner recently reported not only having a dry well, she claimed she's showering only one time per week. The whole community depends on it. It's, it's a lifeline and access to food. Their well is running dry. They've had to move a lot of their food preparation operations to Fort Bragg, to another store. They've had to close their restrooms to the public. And they now have two plastic porta potties in their parking lot. And if a business doesn't have enough water to keep their restrooms open, porta potties are the next best thing. Another thing you can see that's sort of symbolic of the drought is dry parched ball fields. You know, the school has the ability to irrigate those, but in a stage four water shortage emergency, it doesn't make sense. The school district has, has recently stepped up to do something amazing. They've decided to make some water available for sale for the community. They started at six loads total per week, and last week was rather successful, so they've now increased it to eight loads per week. All ideas are still on the table. We're still discussing desal, um, large-scale dehumidifiers, drilling new wells, looking at surface water sources, um, water by rail coming from Willits, water by barge from the Bay Area, even um, the proposed idea of a CAL FIRE training where the helicopters come in and scoop waters out of local ponds. The impacts of climate change are real and they're, they're hitting home. It's a global concern. You know, we all need to work to reduce our carbon footprint. We all need to work to conserve water in more ways. And we need to look at other sources of water and make more productive use of the water that we do have.